hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and today i am making a jumpsuit a romper for a so these are all the pattern pieces that i've cut out and this pattern i got it from oh mother mind diy which is a blog a spanish blog and they have a youtube channel as well so i will link the video for this jumpsuit in the description box below and also a link to their blog in the description box below if you want the same pattern so as for the sizing i cut out nine to twelve months she's already nine months so as for the fabric i'm going to be using these two fabrics so this is a 100 percent cotton fabric that i used for nathan's shirt so um for these three videos which is nathan's shirt this jumpsuit and my top are all going to be made out of these two fabrics so we have the navy blue cotton fabric and also the orange green pinkish swiss fabric so i'm going to be mixing these two fabrics check out uh, my previous video where i was making nathan's shirt using mccall's 2149 I use these two fabrics and my next video <laughs> where i am going to be making a peplum top for myself using these two fabrics so i got enough for the whole family back to the pattern everything is in spanish and what i do is i use like google translate to sort of translate and understand what's really going on and also she has a video where she was making the same jumpsuit so you can watch the video and also translate so first piece is the back piece so i've indicated as you guys can see i've indicated the back piece fold line so i've translated almost everything and yeah so this is the back piece which i cut on fold and i cut it on the blue fabric and next we have the front piece i cut out two which also has like a little button hole here for the string to go through and I cut out two of them in the blue fabric. And then we have the back jumpsuit piece. I cut out two of them in the blue fabric. So this is like the bottom uh, back. And then we have the bottom front. I also cut out two. So this is where I made changes. So the original pattern has the button uh, flap piece here that goes all the way up and i didn't like that look so i just trace it out and cut that piece out um and i'll probably use um an elastic to gather the waist but i will see how it looks once i've i've joined everything so yeah i've cut two of them in the blue fabric as well and then the next piece is the waistband which i'm going to use inside to cover the little um, string the little belt and I cut out two of them and the next is the sleeves so I cut out two of them in the orange fabric and I cut them on fold so they're like this it's like a ruffle sleeve thingy and then the next piece is the flap for the button flap so I cut out two so I want the button flap to be orange and also the button hole flap to be orange so I'll cut out two of them which i'm going to attach on the front borders but i won't have it go all the way down it will stop on the waist and so these are all the pattern pieces that i've cut out but i'm also going to cut the orange fabric to finish the bottom hemline and i will also cut out uh, like bias strips to finish the neckline as well from the orange fabric the other things that i'm going to be using are buttons i got like orange buttons and i got i think about 10 of them i'll probably use three or four of them but i got plenty of them i will also be using my fabric scissors just to cut like loose threads seam ripper i need a seam ripper all the time when i sew because sometimes I do like make mistakes, put things in the wrong way and I just use my seam ripper to undo all the seams that I did wrong. I'm also going to be using lots of pins, my measuring tape, two threads which is the orange one and the blue one. So the orange one will work for the orange 
fabric and the blue one will work for the blue fabric and i'll also use my sewing machine so that's it for the patterns let's start sewing so i'm going to start by working on the bottom i'm going to join the two front pieces together right on the inseam and also the two back pieces together right on the inseams and once i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and join the crotch area together And now I'm going to join the bodies together. I have the back piece and I'm attaching the front pieces on top, right side facing. So I've marked the wrong side so I can see which part is the wrong because this fabric is kind of like the same but it has a different shape. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch on the shoulders. Now I'm taking the sleeve pieces, I'm going to um, fold them in for about half a centimeter, like so, like double fold and then stitch around. Also on this one I'm going to double fold and then stitch around. And then once I'm done with that I'm going to stitch here with a gathering stitch
so my camera died but I cut out two inches of the yellow fabric and I folded it into sort of like a bias binding to finish the uh, hem but I haven't stitched it I just pinned it on and I also made another one so this is how it looks so it's like folded in and this one I'm going to use to finish the neckline and for the shorts I cut out an elastic band measuring her size so I'm going to stitch it and then attach it on the shorts and this will be like my gathering because I try to gather them with the machine and they just looked too small so she wasn't gonna fit in so I'm going to use the elastic to gather them and then after putting the elastic on I will go ahead and attach the top part So I've changed up quite a few things now. Um, so after adding the elastic band, it's now different, but it stretches, which is good. So this extra button hole and button flaps, I am going to cover them with the orange fabric. So I'm going to stitch here, turn it around, and then Folded. so I'm going to cover this piece inside the orange and also do the same here and then after that I'm gonna take my uh, neck bias tape finishing thing and I'm gonna finish the top and also hem the bottom I haven't done this I just pinned it oh and I still have to finish the raw edges just stretch it and do a zigzag
So this is the final result. I absolutely love this little jumpsuit. The way it turned out and everything looks amazing. I just, um, so it's the next morning. I just finished the button holes and uh, inserting the buttons. So I did fit it on her and it fits her perfectly. And this is the back. So cute. That's the front. So for the ruffles, I end up using a hand needle, which actually turned out looking like pleats, but it still looks cute. So yeah, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on my next one where i will be making a top for myself using the same material because i still have quite a bit so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on my next one bye